we are up 35.8%. That's insane. What's up? It's episode two of the trading series of 1,000 all the way up to $10,000. Yeah, the market's down since we bought. We got in at a bad time, but I'm gonna show you today how the way that I trade actually makes progress. And you're gonna see that in this challenge. Well, first I'm gonna just say, so the market since we bought in has been down more than 50%. Probably the altcoins that we bought are down around 60 to 70%. So we should be around 300 to $400, but let's check it out. Boom, almost $600. So we're only actually down like 40%, even though the market's down a ton. And the crazy thing too is before we started with five coins, putting $200 in each. And now if you look, when we scroll down, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 different coins. So we literally have doubled the amount of coins. And that's because we've done so many different trades that we're just diversifying our portfolio and having more coins so that we have more to trade with. Now, how did we get all the way up to $600? So the first coin we got was KNC and we bought 78.29 of those. And that at the price today would be about $103.34. And the next coin is Band. We bought 15.49 of those and that is at $5.11 right now, and that would be valued at $79.15. Next up, OXT is the number three. We got 362.7 of those, and at 23.1 cents at the time of this recording is about $83.78. Next, we got storage, number four, and that we got 130.6 of those, and at 63 cents, 63.2 cents, that's $82.53. And last, we bought Elrond, we got 1.38 of those, and it's at $64.13, and that's $88.49. So adding up all those values that I just went over gives us a total of $437.30. So we are up $160 from what we should be. If we just bought those and we didn't do any trade in at all, we're up $160. Now you take that $594, divide it by the $437, and we are up 35.8% in about a month, a month, a little bit over a month. That's insane. The most profitable trades that I did were with Engine, OXT, and KNC. First, we'll go over OXT. OXT had this big pump from around 30 cents all the way up to 40 cents to 45, even up to 50 cents. So I sold at 40, 45, 50. I would diversified into other coins from that point and waited for some drops in prices. The next one was KNC. I sold at $2.50 and $2.80, and now it's at $1.30. So I waited a long time to rebuy and buy into other coins. As you can see, I'm not even holding any KNC right now. And then the last one was Engine. I bought it at around $1.18, sold at $1.50 and $1.80, and completely sold out. Haven't rebought it yet because I, I diversified into other coins. And along the way, I've been doing lots of little trades here and there, making a couple bucks, doing little swing trades. If a coin's up 10% or 20%, I sell a little bit with the intention to rebuy. So if a coin is up 10 or 20%, I'll sell a little bit with the intention to rebuy at a lower price. And that happens a lot in the crypto space. And that's basically the basis of how I trade and how I grow my portfolio. And that's what I teach in my course. I've been able to grow little by little to add to the portfolio. So I've done a lot of those trades on this challenge so far, and we've seen a lot of progress in the, in the past month. So if the prices were to go back up to what they were at, we would be well over $1,000. We'd be probably closer to thirteen or $1,400, maybe, maybe even more. And the exciting thing about this is whether or not the market's going up or down, this challenge will continue to grow and grow the portfolio. Even if the prices were to continue to go down, I believe that I can still grow and get back up to the $1,000 
even at a 70 or 80 percent decrease and then keep growing off of that and get to that ten thousand dollars it'll just take longer along the way uh, for people that are holding there's a better way to then just hold you can make some little swing trades here and there and follow the strategies that I've developed and created and mastered to really make a difference in your portfolio no matter what the market's doing. We're up 35% so that's a really good thing in about a month. So if you enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like down below and also check out my first video if you haven't seen the first episode of this challenge to see where we started out. I'll catch you guys in the next one and remember as always keep it in the green.